Hey everyone, welcome back to Solo Q Tip of the Day number eight. What I'm gonna be covering is uh, tips for you and your duo, especially if you're mid-jungle, to ensure that you can carry the game. Because when you duo, it's all up to you to carry. Um, that's just how it works, because generally the matchmaking is a lot harder when you duo. So, first of all, I'm gonna cover a few examples of things that you can do that are very simple, but if you do them, it will significantly increase your chances of winning. First, always help your jungler secure scuttles. On the enemy team, their mid jungle isn't going to be as coordinated as you. So if there's a, 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 a scuttle um, fight, you can always get there first. And here, my jungle has asked me, oh, can you help me get to the scuttle to make sure I can get it? And here, I lean down and it scares off the enemy and he's allowed to secure the rift scuttle. And it's these little things. There's a lot of little things that you do when you're a duo that allow you to snowball. It's not just one huge thing. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is when you get a kill, um, there's always objectives you can do after that. So here, for example, uh, my jungler's coming up, I believe, and um, he's looking for a gank. I end up killing him. I'm not killing him. I just chunk him out, and their junglers end up being here. So what do we do? This is a very common example. So if this was solo queue, my jungle would go back to his topside jungle, probably to his gromp and wolves. No, but when we're duo, we can coordinate dives. So here we push out mid together, get the wave. And then what do we do? Because we're on the same page, we can communicate. We say, oh no, let's actually dive bot. Because we've chunked out that mid laner. And what we do is we, we push and we just move. And then mid laner has to base. He can't respond. He doesn't have teleport. I can ward. And then we know who can tank, um, how this is going to go. And it's all about getting other things after you get a kill. Because the biggest mistake I see Joys do is, yes, they can get kills, but it doesn't lead to anything. It's just like a kill. And to, in order to snowball the game and genuinely be that 2v5 carry, you've got to get more than just kills. You've got to get kills and objectives. And here again, um, he was looking at Dragon, and he's like, okay, um... I can hover you mid while you get mid wave, and if he goes on you, I'll be here, and then we can actually get dragon after. So he comes, we end up uh, killing Silas again, and what this allows us to do, he's like, all right, no, push, 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 and then I can do dragon. And again, if this was solo queue, he wouldn't have trusted that I would back him up. He would have just probably went back to his jungle, done his few camps, and reset. But no, because he knows we're communicating, he knows that I can back him up, and then I come and help him do um, a mountain dragon here. So notice both times we've gone mid, we've pushed him out or killed him, and then it's led to other things in the game. And this is absolutely crucial in being able to snowball and being able to, um, yeah, generate insane leads. So here I reset, I come back on the map, and um, I'm just trading, and let's go back forward a little bit. And then this little skirmish comes out where me and Silas are playing like a little bit of a game over this ward. And then what happens is um, he greeds. He tries to, he thinks that my E's down and he can kind of pick me off here. And um, I end up killing him. And then what do we do? Instead of my jungle, again, going to his camps or doing something, he's like, push mid and let's dive top. So he comes mid and knows that um, I'm going to be able to back him up. Um, and I'm like, yep, let me just push mid quickly. So I push the wave. And my jungler is already moving topside. And he knows that if, if the jungler... Say, even if the enemy jungler was stronger than him, I'm going to be here. He feels confident that I'm backing him up. And he's already calling this. He's, we're, we're not just getting kills. We're getting kills that are leading into other things around the map. And then he goes top here. And yep, I'm hovering. He gets a kill. And then he's like, no, nope, all right, what's next? We get a kill, I'll get Rift Herald then. And he feels comfortable doing Rift Herald because he knows that I won't base. He knows that the enemy, like he, we're able to coordinate our bases together. We're able to coordinate what objectives we're going to get do together. We're able to coordinate things that, again, it's snowballing this game out of control. What could have just been three kills has led to three kills, a dragon, a Rift Herald, a top kill, and a bot kill, um, which is pretty ridiculous. So... These are the main tips I'll give you, and yes, it's, it seems very simple, but, and this is a skill that you'll have to develop, it's not about, because it's very easy just to, as a mid-jungle, to get kills. you got to carry the game, 2v5, and, and this is what it takes. So, 
hopefully you can kind of see what the expectations are and like the level of, of play that you need to get in order to like carry in like high elo. Start off by maybe doing one, uh, maybe start off by just backing each other up on maybe a kill into a dragon. Dives are a little bit more tricky. Maybe you can't get a dive off. Maybe you can get a kill and maybe it will allow you to steal a jungle camp. Just little things, small leads over a crew over time to big, big leads. Let's just say every single time he comes in ganks mid, we're go able to go into their jungle and take two jungle camps. Over the space of five minutes, we are going to be much further ahead. And especially now that Rift Herald can spawn twice in a game, if you have constant mid jungle pressure, you're gonna be able to control every single Rift Herald. And if you can get two Rift Heralds in a game, um, you're going to pretty much be able to hard snowball the game. So hopefully this helps. Try and implement it in your own games. Feel free to leave some comments if, if again, if you're unsure, um, if you want some other tips. But I think this is a very solid uh, place for you guys to start. Um, try and implement it and let me know how it goes. Cheers.